Hello everyone. So I am out on the front deck and I desperately need to harvest my garden. We have had kind of a crazy last few weeks with travel and other things. So I just have been kind of going through the motions of like watering and fertilizing, maybe a little bit of pruning just to keep on top of things, but I'm letting some things go. So I have a lot of vegetables that I need to harvest, herbs for sure that I need to harvest, and then flowers also. So that's what we're gonna do today. I think most of what I need to do is happening here on the front deck. So we'll start here and then I'll take you out to the back deck. And I think there it's just some flowers that I want to harvest. And I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with the flowers. I have some ideas, but I will get to that when we harvest them. Here's everything I'm using for today's harvest. I might need some more jars in another basket, but I have two baskets here. This will be for any produce or herbs. And then I have my jars of water for the cut flowers. I also have this three inch pot on my deck. And is it a dumb decision to have a pot this small in your garden? Yes, because I have to water it all the time, but I think it's cute on this table. This is what we are looking like right now. And these two raspberry bushes, I'm going back and forth because I love raspberries. I love being able to grow raspberries in my garden, but they are so big and they take up so much space and they're prickly. So I get stabbed every time I walk by them. Luckily I put them on wheels this year so I can move them out of the way, but I might not have these in the garden next year. So let me know what you think. I know there are dwarf varieties and I think there are thornless varieties. So I might look into one of those, but I'm kind of over these, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. You can see here I have some cucumbers that I need to harvest. I probably, well, I don't know if I have some peppers in there. I could harvest them at the green stage, but I might leave them on to color up. I have a bunch of tomatoes that I need to pull off. I might have some zucchini, I'm not sure, we'll see. I definitely need to harvest off of this lemon basil because it is getting huge. And then I have, well, all my flowers, the zinnias mostly with powdery mildew that I want to harvest a lot of those, both because the flowers are ready, but also to cut back some of the branches and remove the leaves with the powdery mildew. Oh, I have to show you. So this is the champagne hollyhock. I got these seeds from Eric and Christopher at Grow For Me Gardening. I think they might have sent them out over the winter. I can't remember, but I just started them this spring and this is the first flower opening up. Aren't these beautiful? I wish I'd planted them on the back deck because they would be perfect with my color scheme, but maybe next year. But this is stunning. I cannot wait for all of these buds to open. Well, I harvested three cucumbers. I thought the camera was running, but it wasn't. So all I was saying is that I think I've gotten six cucumbers from this plant but it has had issues with powdery mildew. So I'm thinking I might pull this relatively soon. I might wait maybe another week or two. I do have a second zucchini plant that I started in a nursery pot and maybe I will, well, since it has a fungal disease, I will get rid of the soil, but I might put a new grow bag here with fresh soil and put the zucchini plant hooked up to this drip line. So we'll see, but at least I have three cucumbers. We will do the tomatoes next, and I have been doing an okay job of pruning this tomato to keep it in size. It is an indeterminate, so it could potentially get to, geez, I don't know, six to eight feet in height if I let it go crazy. But I have been cutting back the stems, removing most of the suckers as I find them, and I've been doing a better job. I think I still could do an even better job than I am doing this year, but I'm doing a better job this year than I did last year. So I feel like that's a good sign. I'm actually thinking right now I might end up putting, so right now I have the grow bags with the peppers and zucchini which are in front of my tomatoes. I have those just on lifts. I might add more wheeled caddies next year because I just think it'd be easier to get into these 30 gallon grow bags which are also on their own set of wheels. I just don't actually move those bags very often. I don't want to jinx it but I've had pretty good luck this year with my tomatoes in terms of the health of the plants and I know as I say this I'm gonna spot one I haven't had any hornworms up here I usually do they popped up the first year I ever gardened and I thought they were scary enough to make me stop gardening but then after kind of researching them I got over my fear and kind of thought they were cute but I didn't have any last year 
I don't know if that's because the wasps ate the caterpillars before they could grow, but I've not seen any yet this year, but they can come later in the season as well. So I'm just keeping an eye on things, but I think those are all of the ripe tomatoes. I might get in here actually and trim this petunia really quick because I feel like it is just getting smushed in there. Now I am also growing a larger variety of tomatoes. Let me see if you can see those in there. They are, I think it's the big boy and I'm trying to keep it as vertical as possible in there with the zinnias. And so far I think so good, although maybe I'll prune a little bit right now off of it. Let's see. I definitely want to remove this sucker. Maybe I can just tuck you in. There we go. Tuck you in to keep you more upright. Actually, I think that's good. So I will leave the branches on. Do I want to trim? I will cut you off. There we go. I'm checking the pepper plants and there is a lot of fruit on it. I have maybe one or two I could harvest. And you know what? I think I am going to because we can definitely use them. Ooh, should I grab? I'm trying to think which ones I want because I can't again leave these on. I have red, yellow, and orange peppers, so I can harvest them in the green stage, but I can also let them stay on a little bit longer. Maybe I'll leave that one in there and I will take these two. I am definitely gonna go hard on this lemon basil. In fact, some of these I might actually take all the way back and cut off a big chunk of it because it is just getting out of control. Oh, it smells so good. I also like taking larger pieces off because they're easier to dry, I find, than having just a bunch of small stems, which is why I like to wait a little bit before harvesting in the first place anyway. Now, again, the general rule is don't take more than a third off, but I want to clear out the space and I am okay with taking off as much as I am right now just to open up the airflow for my tomato plants. So I think that's good. That is the lemon basil. And I actually do have a zucchini that is ready to harvest. So these are the zucchini round and you harvest them when the diameter is about four inches, which I feel like this is. There's also a second one next to it that I don't want to cut, but just cut the stem off. Look how cute. I think I'm good with the budget patch. So I'm going to go in here then and grab some herbs. I'm going to take some of my apple mint, which I think I have one bunch inside already drying and I will link down my because I have a whole separate herb harvesting video so I will link down the video where I go over all the individual herbs I'm growing in case you do have any questions on them. I also have oh my goodness okay look at this this is a runner from which means are you my basil mint and I don't need the plant to try and spread because there is nowhere for it to spread into except for my other herbs and I don't want that to happen so I'm just taking off these runners man I have you I swear you like leave the garden not unattended but again I haven't been for a couple weeks and it's like oh, okay we are ready to take over everything Ooh, this one oh, it smells so good all right what else do I want to grab I think I'll grab which one are you grab some orange mint little bit harder on this one as well just for size control there. Actually just go ahead and make this look even. Again mint plants are very hard to kill so if I ever do anything and it actually kills the mint I would be shocked. 
Let's do some basil mint as well. This is the one where, even though it's basil mint, when I smell it, it definitely smells more citrusy. Like it smells very similar to the orange mint or the lemon bergamot mint. So I, if you like citrusy flavored mints, this would be a good option. Okay, so I think I'm good on what I'm gonna grab for veggies and herbs for today. So now I'm just gonna go around and cut a bunch of my flowers. And I think everything I'm harvesting is cut and come again. A lot of these, like I said, do have powdery mildew. So I will be removing and throwing away the leaves. I will be washing my pruners in between each bed that I'm going to. I will be out here. I don't know the sun's starting to go down. So I don't know if I have time to hit the back deck, but we'll see. This is everything I harvested, and this is what makes my heart happy. And this isn't even everything. I mean, I could grab more herbs, there are more flowers I could grab, but this is how much my deck gardens produce. And I can get harvests like this pretty much throughout like the majority of July, all of August, early September, and then mid-September things start to slow down a bit. But this is just incredible to me. On rooftop decks in the middle of Chicago, I grew all of this. So these are the herbs here. I hope I remember which ones are which. I'm going to tie them up and hang them from my curtain rods. Again, I will link down the video showing that whole process below. These are the shorter stems of the flowers. I also grabbed a couple sunflowers. These are all the veggies I grabbed. So three cucumbers, handful of tomatoes. The tomatoes are just starting to kick off right now. One round zucchini, two peppers and then a whole bunch of flowers. And I did end up just running over to the back deck as fast as I could to beat the sun going down. So most of these in this jar are from the back deck. And then the other jars are from the front deck, but look at how pretty this is. So now I need to get this all back inside. I'm gonna deal with the herbs tonight. Like I said, I'll put them on my curtain rod. I will take all of the produce downstairs. The flowers I'm gonna leave up here because again, I think I have a fun idea to do some decorating inside for me. So I might make a whole separate video for that. Um, and then I think that's all I got. Yeah, the herbs, the produce and the flowers. So that's gonna be everything I think for this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.